this tutorial I'm going to show you how to loosely lace your Adidas Samba. Let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the lace down through the outside first hole. Just bring the lace up a little bit into the shoe and then when you pass your lace across just flatten it out as you go and we're going to bring the lace down through the inside first hole. And again just bring your lace up into the shoe just a little bit to make sure that the laces as you work your way up the shoe are the same length on both sides. We take the ends and we pull up through the shoe. So we're going to start off with the outside lace first, we come across the shoe to the inside first hole. Just loop it on your finger, which stops the first loop from getting too tight. And then we're going to take the inside lace across the shoe to the outside second hole. Keeping that lace in your hand, bring it across the shoe to the inside third hole. And then take the inside lace across the shoe to the outside third hole. Now at this point, you can either take the outside lace through the hoop on the tongue. It does help to keep the tongue in place, um, especially if your shoes feel a little bit loose on your feet, it might slip around a little bit. But if you feel like you feel the shoe and you don't need it, I always think the lacing style looks a little bit better sometimes when we don't actually use that. So for this one, I'm just gonna go past it and work my way up the shoe. So I'm gonna take the outside lace in my hand, I'm gonna go across the shoe to the inside fourth hole. And then we're going to take the inside lace across the shoe to the outside fourth hole. And keeping that lace in your hand, we're going to come across the shoe to the inside fifth hole. And then take the inside lace across the shoe to the outside fifth hole. Just going to open up the shoe a little bit, make sure it's not getting too tight anywhere. And then we can take the outside lace across the shoe to the next inside hole. And then the inside lace comes across the shoe to the outside hole. Now at this point you've got another choice as well. So you can either at this point take the outside lace across the shoe and rather than going down into the shoe, you could go out the shoe. So you're finishing off your loosely lace. So I'm gonna leave it out, the lace coming out just a little bit. And then you get a loop. And then I'm gonna take the inside lace across and again I'm gonna come out that last hole. Just make sure that those laces are the same length and then the two loops go underneath the tongue so when you pull the tongue up you slide it either side and tuck it underneath and then your foot will keep that in place so you could go for this look which means that you can see the adidas logo a little bit better so it would look like this or the alternative would be, so I'm going to bring those loops back up again and push the tongue back down a little bit. We just feed that back through and we'll go back to where we were. And the alternative would be to carry on the lacing style as you have been. So I'm going to take the outside lace across the shoe and I'm going to bring it down through the last inside hole.
and then I'm going to take the inside lace, I'm going to do the same, take it across the shoe to the outside last hole, bring it down. So you check those two loops aren't getting a little bit too loose there, so I'm just going to pull them up a little bit. And then what you can do instead is you can take the outside lace and where you've got this little um, hole on the outside, this little eyelet, you can take your lace and thread it out through there. So it's not like this eyelet gets used all the time, so you might have to kind of poke the lace through a little bit harder to get through that hole. So then you've got a bit of a loop and you've got your lace hanging out. Do the same on the inside. So again, you're gonna take your lace through that little hole on the side. Bring it out, let's check that your laces are the same length. And then you take your two loops and again, you're gonna push them down either side of your tongue like that. So you've got this look. And if you're not gonna use that loop in the um, center of the tongue there, then by coming a little bit further up the shoe, it does help to keep your tongue a little bit better in place when it's inside the shoe. So a few options there to choose from in how you loosely lace your Adidas. I hope it was helpful. If it was, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel for future tutorials, subscribe. Thanks for watching.